Hey everybody, I want to talk to y'all today about what GBS is. GBS stands for Guillain-Barre syndrome. It is an autoimmune disease, so it's where your immune system attacks itself. So, we all have nerves and they're kind of like a piece of copper wire that's insulated. The insulation around the nerve is called myelin sheath and it protects the axon. When GBS occurs, the myelin sheath is damaged by the good cells that are attacking it. And um, this causes weakness or paralysis in most people. In my case, it caused paralysis. So that's why I can't walk right now. Um, I'm paralyzed from the knees down. So how do you get GBS? GBS is usually from a viral infection, um, sometimes bacterial. Um, and in some cases, it can be from a vaccine or um, a surgery that can cause it. But in my case, it was caused by a viral infection. So about two years ago, I got a virus called Epstein-Barr or mono and the kissing disease, whatever you want to call it. Most people in their lifetime will get mono um, and just not know it. Um, it doesn't affect everyone the same. Some people are asymptomatic. But in my case, I had many symptoms. Uh, I became really ill and weak and I felt just dehydrated and I didn't really know what was going on. The virus lasted about three weeks until I finally realized I was getting progressively weaker. Um, I went to my daughter's softball game and I could barely make it to the stands. I was walking really slow, sluggish, and um, taking tiny steps to get around. And a friend of mine mentioned that you need to go see someone because this sounds like MS. I, of course, said, no way. I don't have MS. There's nothing wrong with me. I just had a virus and my body's still getting over it. Um, but the next few days was even worse. I started using furniture to get around from place to place, using the walls. My knees continuously stayed bent and low to the ground, and things weren't looking good for me. Um, my toes were tingling, my arms were tingling, and I could tell something was wrong. So, my sweet husband decided that it was time to go see a doctor. Now. So we contacted my doctor, my general practitioner, Dr. Bufford, Auburn Family Medicine, he's amazing. Um, and I knew there were gonna be questions, so I brought a list with me, a long list of everything that had been going on for the past three weeks. And he took one look at that list, one look, and decided you need to go to a neurologist now because this isn't good. So my doctor contacted one of his friends, a neurologist in Montgomery, Alabama, and decided that I needed to be seen right away. And so they fit me right into the schedule and I went straight there. By the time I got there, I had to use a wheelchair to get up to his office because there was no way I could walk at this point. My legs completely stopped working and I couldn't move them, I couldn't feel them, and uh, my arms were tingling and my breathing was getting kind of heavy. When I got to his office, they did this thing called an EMG or a nerve study test. And it's where they put these wires on your legs and um, make vibrations or shocking feelings throughout your legs and try to get a nerve to react or respond. Well, in my case, they didn't respond at all. And so he put a needle in my leg and tried to get the nerve to respond that way. And, and that didn't work either. So from that point, he told me that I had Guillain-Barre syndrome and I needed to go to the hospital ASAP because this can move fast. And in my case, it was moving very quickly. Um, so he called the hospital and told them that I had GBS and that I needed to be seen immediately. And when I got there, everything got wild. Everything. Uh, they're shoving me in a room, taking all these different tests, and things were still progressing on me. Um, I couldn't really use the bathroom. I didn't, couldn't feel the feeling to use the bathroom. So I had to have a catheter and then I got straight, went straight to, um, ICU. When I got to ICU, they started hooking me up to heart monitors and giving me an IV and, um, they immediately started me on IVIG. And if you watched one of my previous videos, you'll know what IVIG is. It's medicine from blood plasma. 
um, that treats GBS and keeps it from progressing or keeps it from coming back. So, they started my IVIG immediately, but then they started to tell me about the ventilator. They started to show me the ventilator and show me how I was going to be hooked up and tell me um, that I was going to see everything and not be able to respond and I was getting really scared. Um, I did not want to be hooked up to a ventilator. So GBS can travel from your limbs to your lungs and cause you to be paralyzed on the inside as well as the outside and that's where I was headed. Um, I was having trouble breathing and they thought that I was going to need the ventilator sooner than later. Um, so they were hooking me up and everything and eventually I stopped progressing and um, I did not need the ventilator. It stopped at my waist and didn't go any further and I'm so lucky for that because a lot of people can't say that. Um, I also um, prayed a lot. I just want to say that. I prayed a lot and so did my husband and so did my family. Though it stopped progressing and stopped paralyzing me, it did not stop causing problems. Um, I wasn't able to make saliva the same. Um, my arms were really weak. I couldn't hold my phone. Um, I couldn't push down when the doctors wanted me to push down or lift up when the doctors wanted me to lift up. So I was really weak. And um, But I'm very lucky that it didn't go any further. Um, so I stayed in ICU for about nine days, and during those nine days, it was horrific. Um, I couldn't see my kids, and they were with my mom the whole time, so I know they were taken care of, but it was a really hard time. My son was only 18 months old, and my daughter was in school, and so was my older son, and we were really missing them. But aside from that, I was having to do many tests. I did an MRI um, to rule out for MS or any lesions or tumors or anything. And I did a spinal tap. Oh my God, it was horrible. Oh, they said it's just going to feel like a bee sting. Yeah, right. So um, the spinal tap did um, show some protein on my spine, which leads them to know that it was GBS that was causing this problem. Um, and it, it was just rough in ICU. It was really rough. A lot happened in ICU. Um, I couldn't roll over. I couldn't swallow the same. I couldn't move my arms. I couldn't text. Um, I was just sitting there like a sponge and just listening to everything they said and wanted me to do and trying everything. And, um, they brought in PT and OT, um, physical therapy and occupational therapy to help with um, the problems and try to get me stronger as fast as possible. And nine days later, I got moved to a regular room where I finally got to see my kids again. And that was, that was one of the best moments ever. After about two days in a regular room, I got moved to outpatient rehab. And uh, I spent about a month there doing physical therapy and occupational therapy. Met some really good friends there. Um, my husband stayed with me the whole time. And my mom stayed with the kids the whole time and brought them to visit. My husband was still going to work every morning and uh, taking care of the kids when they were out of school and doing their homework. And I was allowed to do things with them as well. So it made it a lot easier. In the outpatient rehab, I learned a lot of stuff that I didn't even know that I needed to know. I learned how to transfer from the wheelchair to the bed, the wheelchair to the toilet. Um, I learned to uh, use a wheelchair in general and get my upper body strength really strong. That way I could move myself without having to move my legs. When I came home, it was really rough really rough. I was learning everything all over again from how to do dishes to how to cook food um, and take care of my family. Again, I had an 18 month old that wanted to be held and it was kind of hard. Um, but I had to do all that from a wheelchair and I faced a lot of depression and a lot of anxiety during this time. I was mad at the world. I didn't like that I was paralyzed. Um, I didn't think it was fair, of course 
and I just wanted it to be over with. That being said, I got put on a lot of different medications to help with depression and anxiety and also pain because a lot of times they don't talk about this with GBS, but it's very painful. Your nerves are constantly tingling and constantly burning and your bones hurt from not being used and it, it just, it's really painful. The doctor also ordered physical therapy and occupational therapy to come to my home and help me get around and show me how to do more things on my own. And eventually, when I started getting better and I started thinking more positive, I finally started progressing. I was started doing little things on my own, like standing up at the kitchen sink and holding on to it while I did dishes. And little things like that became big victories for me. I eventually started to walk with a walker. I had to learn how to all over again. My PT used a gait belt to hold on to me while I used a walker in front of me, and I had to learn to swing my hips and move my thighs and work with my knees and bend my feet all at one time, which gets really crazy. And I had some really crazy, crazy looking movements for a while, but eventually it all came together and I eventually started walking on my own again. Though I started walking again, I had a lot of residual effects and I still needed to get stronger. I was still really weak, still had burning, still had tingling. Um, usually with GBS, they say you get 100% better, but nobody recovers 100%. Fast forward two years later, I got the very popular virus known as COVID along with millions of other people. But this unfortunately caused me to have what they call a relapse. And so it kind of started all over again. I started getting tingling and burning sensations in my feet and um, started getting weaker. I got what they call foot drop and we could tell something was going on again. So I headed to the hospital and lo and behold, I had GBS all over again. Um, this time, I made it to the hospital in time, a little sooner, so they started IVIG immediately, so I had five rounds of that for six days, and they, it stopped at my knees this time, so I'm only paralyzed from the knees down. I have tiny movements, yay, in my feet, and I can move my legs along the bed now, and um, I can stand up but I do shake a lot and I'm not quite there yet. So it's gonna take a while, but I know this time I'm gonna get better and I know that things are not as bad as they could be. So I'm very thankful for that. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions about GBS, feel free to message me.